now more than ever, we are looking everywhere for things to do. I know you think you know San Diego, but trust me, you don't. I've got some hidden gems for you in Encinitas that I found with a little help from my friend. Oh, thank you. Can I come in? So I'm with Jessica Johnson. She runs the website Hidden San Diego. You're from here, so you've been like finding all these hidden gems. We're inside the butterfly garden. How did you find the spot? This one I think I just found by research and just like, oh my God, there's a butterfly farm in San Diego and we don't have to go to the zoo to visit it. And, yeah, and then I came here and it's just gorgeous. So this is actually a nonprofit. So everybody who works here, they told me they're not getting paid. They do this for the education and they, they just teach people about butterflies. Yeah. And you know what's so crazy for me? It's insane how close you can get to them. Yeah, I think it's really important to me. Anything that can help educate the masses to help the environment in any way is really important. So places like this, I always want to put on my site. So fun fact that I learned about butterflies while I was here. Do you know that they're very aggressive, Jessica? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, so we're probably gonna have to duck and take cover, just saying. <laughs> but you have some other hidden spots in Encinitas. Yeah. So we're off to the next one, right? Awesome. Okay. So this next hidden gem is actually very hidden because we're not gonna tell you where it is. Mm -mm, you gotta find it, but we've got pictures. The hippie homes. That was another spot I just stumbled upon. It's a trailer park that has the most unique homes. There's even a house just head to toe with mosaics. And what I was told is a lot of artists live there. They've lived there for like 20 plus years and they just have filled it head to toe with art. Okay, we've got time for one more hidden gem in Encinitas, Dave's Rock Garden. Such a cute place and an awesome story behind this too. Yeah, so it started off as just an empty plot of land that was filled with trash and weeds and then the next door neighbor, Dave, took it upon himself to start cleaning it up, started planting plants, adding painted rocks, and pretty quickly the city took notice and sent him a cease and desist order. And instead of getting rid of everything, he used that as his motivation to make it the most beautiful garden possible that nobody would want to destroy it in. The city has left it and everybody keeps contributing to it. So this is awesome. We've got a SpongeBob rock, super cute, and a lot of inspiring messages as well. To plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. So something we can all believe in today. Okay, I want to know where those hippie homes are. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> I think that rock garden is so cool because they've got those inspirational messages. But did you see the Super Mario rock and I the did. little pipe next to it? I sure did. There's some creativity going on here. I actually did that when I was at home yeah. um, it, teaching my daughter. We painted rocks. Yeah. That's so always a good idea to do that. You know, I think you can live here for a few decades and still there's still some hidden gems out there.